Welcome to another video, today we will discuss Tetralogy of Fallot. Let's start with the definition of congenital heart diseases. What is congenital heart disease? Congenital heart disease, or a congenital heart defect, is a heart abnormality present at birth. The problem can affect 1. The heart walls 2. The heart valves 3. The blood vessels What are the symptoms of congenital heart disease? A congenital heart defect is often detected during a pregnancy ultrasound. If your doctor hears an abnormal heartbeat, for instance, they may further investigate the issue by performing certain tests. These may include an echocardiogram, a chest X-ray, or an MRI scan. In some cases, the symptoms of a congenital heart defect may not appear until shortly after birth. Newborns with heart defects may experience bluish lips, skin, fingers, and toes, breathlessness or trouble breathing, feeding difficulties, low birth weight, chest pain. What causes congenital heart disease? The heart defect may run in families. Taking certain prescription drugs during pregnancy puts a child at a higher risk for a heart defect. Using alcohol or illegal drugs during pregnancy can increase a child's risk of having a heart defect. Mothers who had a viral infection during the first trimester of pregnancy are more likely to give birth to a child with a heart defect. Increased blood sugar levels, such as occurs with diabetes, may affect childhood development. Now let's go back to our current topic. What is the Tetralogy of Fallot? Tetralogy of Fallot is a rare condition caused by a combination of four heart defects that are present at birth, congenital. These defects, which affect the structure of the heart, cause oxygen-poor blood to flow out of the heart and to the rest of the body. Infants and children with Tetralogy of Fallot usually have blue-tinged skin because their blood doesn't carry enough oxygen. Tetralogy of Fallot is often diagnosed during infancy or soon after. However, tetralogy of fallow might not be detected until later in life in some adults, depending on the severity of the defects and symptoms. With early diagnosis followed by appropriate surgical treatment, most children and adults who have tetralogy of fallow live relatively normal lives, though they'll need regular medical care throughout life and might have restrictions on exercise. What are the symptoms of this disease? Tetralogy of fallow symptoms vary, depending on the extent of obstruction of blood flow out of the right ventricle and into the lungs. Signs and symptoms may include Bluish coloration of the skin caused by blood low in oxygen, cyanosis. Shortness of breath and rapid breathing, especially during feeding or exercise. Loss of consciousness, fainting. Clubbing of fingers and toes, an abnormal, rounded shape of the nail bed. Poor weight gain. Tiring easily during play or exercise. Irritability. Prolonged crying. A heart murmur. What are tet spells? Sometimes, babies who have tetralogy of fallow will suddenly develop deep blue skin, nails and lips after crying or feeding, or when agitated. These episodes are called tet spells and are caused by a rapid drop in the amount of oxygen in the blood. Tet spells are most common in young infants, around two to four months old. Toddlers or older children might instinctively squat when they're short of breath. Squatting increases blood flow to the lungs. The four abnormalities that make up the tetralogy of fallow include 1. Pulmonary valve stenosis Pulmonary valve stenosis is a narrowing of the pulmonary valve, the valve that separates the lower right chamber of the heart right ventricle from the main blood vessel leading to the lungs pulmonary artery. 2. Ventricular septal defect a ventricular septal defect is a hole defect in the wall septum that separates the two lower chambers of the heart, the left and right ventricles. 3. Overriding aorta. Normally the aorta, the main artery leading out to the body, branches off the left ventricle. In Tetralogy of Fallot, the aorta is shifted slightly to the right and lies directly above the ventricular septal defect. 4. Right ventricular hypertrophy. When the heart's pumping action is overworked, it causes the muscular wall of the right ventricle to thicken. Over time this might cause the heart to stiffen, become weak and eventually fail. What are the risk factors? While the exact cause of tetralogy of fallow is unknown, various factors might increase the risk of a baby being born with this condition. These risk factors include A viral illness during pregnancy, such as rubella, German measles. Alcoholism during pregnancy. Poor nutrition during pregnancy. A mother older than age 40. A parent who has tetralogy of fallow. The presence of Down syndrome or DiGeorge syndrome. Treatment. 
Surgery is the only effective treatment for tetralogy of fallow. Surgical options include intracardiac repair or a temporary procedure that uses a shunt. However, most babies and older children have intracardiac repair. Overview. Tetralogy of fallow caused by the anterosuperior displacement of the infundibular septum. Tetralogy of fallow is most common cause of early childhood diseases. Tetralogy comprises of pulmonary infundibular stenosis, most important determinant for prognosis. Right ventricular hypertrophy. Overriding aorta. Ventricular septal defect. Do not forget to follow the channel and like the videos to see more content like this. See you in the next video.